Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, apologies first of all for being away for so long. It's the end of the school term and obviously it's a bit chaotic as a parent with children going this way and that. So I've gradually put these bits together over <laughs> probably a couple of weeks I've been filled with this actually to get it done. Fitting bits in here and there. Um, there is a bit that's sort of missing with the texture paint. It sort of jumps for me putting it on <laughs> instead of starting putting it on. It's literally I'm already in it. Um, truth is, I forgot to film that bit. See, see now, already. Anyway, let's get to the table and get cracking. And this week we're going to use up some scraps. See you at the table. Right, so I have about 200 of these dead DVDs. So I thought it's time to use them up. First, there's one I've blocked a hole. I'm going to show you one in a minute. And I left the other two because I covered up with something else. I just scored the surfaces. So when you put anything on it, it actually grips, it doesn't slide off. So the reason I've covered the hole, so, so it's about using scraps. I have these three rings, which are bits I printed when I was doing the texture rollers to scale them. So I printed a test piece to scale each one. So I don't want to print the whole thing. But I thought, right, that would make a nice little well, like that. So we'll stick them down in a minute. Then this is just some dust clay that I put a cobblestone texture in using a Green Stuff World roller. Didn't really have any use for it, so I snapped it down. And we'll stick those into the middle of these. And here I have a pile of pillars, which were all failures when I was trying to print the mausoleum. They kept falling off, so I thought, right, I'll keep hold of them. I'm sure I can use them. So let's get these bits stuck down. So let's use my favorite glue, which is the gel super glue. Main thing to remember with this is give it a shake. So I'm just having a look what looks best. So just work on some super glue. Like so, I'm probably off camera. Twist it slightly so the brick lines don't quite line up. And the last layer. I want that one to go that way. I should give it a little wiggle. I should have to get it to grip. Just going to set them up to one side and wait and leave it to dry. Okay, tube number two. Okay. Cover up the hole. No, let's go in there because I've got a lip. So I'm going to have to make sure I get around the lip to make sure it tacks. Okay. Don't worry about the glue sticking over. Stick it to the back out of the way. Same again here. If you see the lip, snap it off. It's going to be sealed in anyway quite nicely, so it's not a problem. See that stick yourself to it and let them dry in a minute. Give them a few minutes to harden up. You could cheat if the glue was overhanging, just go around with a bit of um, bicarb and let it stick really quickly. Right, I can stick this one down because these are gripped to each other. Right, once they're all dry, so they're not moving about, I'm just going to give these a quick spray of some primer outside so I don't get it all over the place, and I'll be straight back. 
So we're going to continue working around and then pushing this in so it comes up against the edge. Like so, at the moment it's fairly smooth texture paint because um, it makes it slightly thin, which makes it grip better. So key into the score lines better. And we'll texture it up more as it starts to tack up a little bit. going to settle back a little bit so you probably want to give this another 5-10 minutes at this state and then just go around it again right so I've done some pillars these are the ones I haven't sprayed the bottoms spray the tops so I'm going to put some greenery on it anyway so let's just pick a spot I don't know somewhere about here and work it in and same again About them leading a little bit as a character, so leave that to set. Next one, and these ones I was going to put some in down, so I'm going to shove that in. Do I have one standing up somewhere? I'll just start the over, so you just push the like that, and you pull this back. Grips still look good. There we go. You might go a bit. Might let that one lean up against that one then. See if we can get them to balance. A bit like that, doesn't matter. Shove the other one in. Like that. Just work that up to a little bit. We're sticking my head right in the camera. And we we'll just leave those to dry. Right, I've just grabbed an old plate. Got some grey paint, a bit of yellow, a bit of red. Bit of cream, sort of mushed it up a bit at the sides here so the colours join together. And we'll use this as a base. I'm probably going to do this as an overbrush on the top. The top I thought was too flat, so I hit it with some more podrum black. So I just want to give it a grey base along the inside as well a little bit. Just get, I'm not too worried how accurate it is. It looks washed out, it's fine. So I'm literally just coming around and pick the brush that falls to pieces as always. Trying to tip it away from you to be able to see. It gives out just a base coat. So I'm going to try and get this down to a dry brush to go around the edge a little bit. Not too worried if I hit the earth because we're going to flop this up anyway. Okay. Let's have a look at the stones, see what we can do with them, see how they dry brush up. Take some more paint off that. So just 
working our way around. So sort of an overbrush dry brush. So I'm getting in between anyway. Keeping some of the dark areas. When we get a few colours on this, it'll start to come together. So, do the same with the pillars. Just going to flick over. These I'm going to wash. Anyway, so it's just a matter of. My brush, get some cream, get out the brush, it's a bit lumpy, let's get hold of it, so you just want to get a dry brush sort of underneath a little bit. Let them dry completely. If you missing, see them. Oh, which way is that one? It's that one. There you go. So at the moment they look a bit. Mm, we'll give them a wash in a minute to brown them down. Go for those. So we'll just give it a couple of minutes to let the paint dry. Right, now this is all semi dried up. I'm just going to grab some Agrax or homemade brown wash. Either, doesn't really matter. I just want to get a coat over the top. In between the stones, put it about a little bit. Then have to get all of that, just to sort of get some sort of variance into it. Up through the pillars. So, I haven't overly thought about it deliberately. So, we'll let them dry and we'll get some flock out. Right, right, these are dried up, so I'm just going to PVA them. So, I mixed up some PVA with a little drop of water just to thin it a little bit. Sort of that type of consistency. Just get around the edges here. Just give it a good coating. So, So once you're happy with your coating, let's put that over here a minute. Get this, get some flock, this is Jarvis flock. This is actually a mix, and so as I've been flocking other stuff, I've tipped the residue off. So I'm going to put some of the thicker stuff in around. 
the bottom of the penis. So maybe a bit in there. This is just coarse flock. Let's just try and grab some more of the thicker stuff. Now when I'm staying on camera here, sorry about the lighting, if it's a little bit dark, it is the evening. Right, I did put a little bit in here somewhere. breaks it up and stand it on something so tape roll perfect try not to catch the edge with your finger that's my normal trick put it over there I'll crack on and I'll do the others right these are flocked but they're not dry so it's a perfect chance to grab some Jarvis this is some um, you call it but different types of mosses and glitching stuff, but this stuff dries out and it goes horrible. So the best thing to do is grab some bits, chuck it in PVA. Thinking, what the heck? Just gloop it, then squeeze it out a bit. This PVA will help seal it and use it as a bush base. So you can put big really. Let's see how we want this. It's going to look rubbish at the moment. It's a trouble with this stuff. Right, wipe it off. Stick a that needs to come off. Okay, so we'll leave it at that and let it all dry. Right, everything's dried up. So I'm gonna get some tacky glue. This is a nice cheap tacky glue from the works. Give it a shake. And make sure it comes out. A bit warm. Try to give it a shake, hang on. There you go. Right, so we're just gonna get a little bit on here. Let it hang down a little bit. I'll do the last one and then after leave it sort of 15 minutes it tacks up and then we come back and put some flock on. Right, when it's starting to tack up, we we'll grab some other flock. This is um, more, oh, what do you call it, foam flock. So now you can just work away around. We bang it all off afterwards, so we're just pushing it in. Don't worry about going in the well because you there's nothing there to stick it so it just bangs out. So just trying to cover the bits. 
you mention that it completely dry. The trouble I get there is I can never avoid, never remember where all the tacky bits are, so I sort of tend to sort of let it nearly get there. Right, once they're dried, I'm going to make them wet again. So I'm going to spray them down with some water, like so. Get a bit of tissue because I don't need the water in the middle. Just dry the middle out a little bit. And we get some really thin down PVA. And a dripper. find that this will drip in and just dissipate. This will look absolutely blooming horrible as usual. So I'm just working my way around. It takes a little while. I'm not going to film all of these. I'm going to do this one and then get on with the others. So you don't have to sit through it. a little while but this will make it lovely and hard no pun intended I've stood this on a tub of flock just so it's got something that can drip off See all the colours bleed. That's why I quite like this flock. Some people don't like flocks that bleed. I do. Right, while it's wet, I'm going to connect up a flock box. So I'm actually going to connect it on the. I don't know if I can connect it to the side. I probably can if I'm careful. Be a bit careful because otherwise it'll chip. Nope. This is where I usually electrocute myself. I'm just going to put some static grass, move that away. This one sticks to you, rub your fingers, turn it on. So I've just got a static grass um, flop box which is connected to the base of the terrain and I'm just going to put a little bit, just make sure this is I don't even know if this is working, can't tell at the moment. The usual way I tell is I electrocute myself. Yeah, it's working, you can hear it. That's just good. Just a couple of little bits. dry I'll crack on with the others and we'll come back when it's all done right there you have it so let's have a quick look at the results I'll put some proper picks up at the end as always so we have our well with our static grass um, with the static grass I should have gone a little bit lighter I'm gonna have to make a smaller applicator my um, tea strain is a little bit big I think I need something a bit smaller I found a cat hair there you go bigotry cat hair but overall I'm quite happy with that and these were just the rings as I said before that I used for the texture rollers so when I was printing them I kept scaling them to get the right size so they fitted onto the roller save the bits use them up CDs make lovely flat base yes I sprayed the underneath um, 
and with the texture paint which has got filler in it, it adds a nice little bit of weight. So there's that one. We have the one with the leaning pillar. This turned out really well. The um, oh, I forgot what it's called now. Car, see, told you, getting old. The lichen, which is to PVA, has got lovely and hard, so that isn't going to dry and go crumbly. It could be nice being soft and natural looking, but you find it gradually dry out and just turn to dust. The stonework in the middle, that's just dust clay. And what's quite nice is when the flops bleed, the green sort of colour that goes in actually adds to it. Here's the others. Well, here's the last one. You can see it. See the static grass actually stuck to the pillars as well in place actually looks quite nice. So sort of sticking out, it's sort of worked quite well. Um, not necessarily deliberately, I do admit, but sometimes these things um work that way. Especially when we work with sort of natural growth of plants and stuff, sometimes really try and do it. Put this plant here, I'm gonna plant that one there, do that. Doesn't look right, just go for it, don't overthink it and you actually end up with better results. You can surprise yourself. The tops of the pillars, we put more of the lichen on the top. That's because all oh, you could see would be the honeycomb, because these are the ones that failed. So hence, instead of being a solid pillar and all smoothed off lovely, it was fell off the print bed. But they come in very useful, and I've still got a bag full of them to use up. So let's pop them down. Right, so I'd like to say thank you to everyone for watching. Um, to consider hitting the subscribe button. Please give the video a thumbs up. I haven't been about for a while, so a couple of extra thumbs up would be nice. Um, try and get some more traffic back to the channel after the break. Things will be slow for the next sort of month or so, coming into the school holidays. Obviously the kids will be at home, and we'll be working different hours to try and make it all work. So there's someone here joys of parenthood um, hopefully get some games in with the kids as well as well as doing some day trips I'm not quite sure what I'm going to go with next I'll probably use up some more of the junk as I've got a box full of it I have got these I want to use up um, it's Latford Revel which is like a village fair and the bottles of Prosecco well, the Prosecco is very nice but the lids are absolutely brilliant they're like rivets down the side so I think I can come up with something to use all these up. Yes, we did have a couple. Um, and then I've got all the bits of print that are broken and chucked in the box. So we'll see what we come up with that for, I was going to say next week, but the way things are going, a couple of weeks time. And once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon. I'll stick some proper pictures at the end. And have a great week or a couple of weeks gaming. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.